Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, if you are still on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 and using Steam to play some of your favorite games, Steam has announced that, uh, actually Valve has announced that the Steam app will drop support for Windows 7 and 8 in January of 2024. So you'll have for the rest of the year to play your games on your Windows 7 or 8 machine. Um, once it is out of support, Steam will stop working and your games also. That means that you won't actually be able to continue playing on these older uh, Windows machines. So the reason behind this is that the... Um, uh, the Steam engine actually uses part of the Chrome engine uh, to actually work. And because Chrome is now unsupported in the um, Windows 7, Windows 8 operating systems, well, Steam will stop working on these systems because of that also. So you got to move on, and anyways, I don't even understand why people have not moved on to, um, you know, at least Windows 10 or Windows 11, uh, which are proven to be good, if not much better in gaming than Windows 7 ever was. Anybody saying that uh, Windows 7 is faster does not know what Windows 10 and Windows 11 look like, at least Windows 10. Uh, definitely more better gaming on Windows 10, and actually, on most statistics, when you look at the uh, operating system speeds people uh, the the gamers in general find windows 10 to be a much better and much more efficient gaming um, operating system than windows 7 ever was so you have to move on and uh, anyways i still don't understand why you have not moved on uh, anyways um, so steam you still have until december or january of 2024 before all of it stops on these older machines if you were keeping an older machine for gaming and you know was happy with that it is sad in one way that it stops working because of um, because of the, um, the that that reason because you know that's one of the things that I hate because I know that some of you might want to keep an old Windows 7 um, you know I would understand somebody that keeps an old Windows 7 machine uh, for specific games, especially games that maybe doesn't don't work on more modern PCs, and um, for that reason, it's one of the reasons actually I hate having these apps that control your gaming. You know, it's like uh, I'm a gamer, and and I, I can tell you that I hate the fact that you have to have the uh, you know Electronic Arts app or the Steam app or whatever to have your games i've always hated that way of doing things and i do miss the good old days of you just installed a game and it worked um and that would be nice because these would continue working on their own uh, now because you're tied to uh, an app that actually starts and controls your games you lose your games because your the app stops working which i find a little dumb in a way because I'm sure that there's a lot of Windows 7 machines. And even I here, if I had the place I had, I would have a Windows XP machine for some of the older games that I am unable to play today that I could play on Windows XP. Um, it would not be a machine that I would put online, but it'd be a standalone machine that would actually have some of the games that I would like. So bye-bye, uh, Steam, on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, starting January 2024. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.